Watch Transit TV right now. Keep watching Transit TV. Thank you. So Defending, they're not good at it. The first goal for Tottenham yesterday was the second goal on Godua Basis and Kulizowski. You could see it. It was very easy for Hulu to get rid of him and, and drop that pass for for uh, James Madison. So it is. It, I'm not saying it's over for City, but it's bigger than what we think it is. It's not just Rodri. It's not just KDB. That team as a whole needs some serious... Transit TV, welcome back again to our EPL Studios uh, Super Sunday. If you want to call it that, name me the big fish, the big fish of Transit TV is okay. back. Finally, has time for Transit TV today. Nimi, it's good to see you back to the studio. What have you been up to, my brother? Good to see you, man. Uh, my brother, I've been good. You know, when you're winning, you know, it's hard. You know, there's <laughs> when, for example, <laughs> when, when politicians, before they get into power, when they get into power, to get there, you can't even get their... <laughs> Numbers have called them. So we are winning now. So it's hard to see me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, 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 I'm deliberating with Enzo Maresca on what we need to do for the way forward, right? Uh, good to see you, bro. You see, you see the JC, right? You see, you, yeah, you see yeah, yeah. I see you, man. Uh, I see you. Good uh, work. Good work. Good work. Uh, thank you, thank you very good much. Work. Transit TV, I'm back. We're back. Um, thank you for having me and um, looking forward to. Um, Looking forward to another another um yeah yeah yes your yeah, meeting yeah hey can you hear me sorry about that yeah 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 um, I see so you good 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 yeah good you know good to have you know see you guys again and uh, be here with you guys I'm really excited let's let's get it yeah me too I'm sorry though there, there's more of me as well because you know <laughs> America I have to do running around sometimes it's not been easy to have us you know be free at the same time so i've been trying to then again we're also trying to be trying to grow our nigerian uh, viewership focusing some resources and energy on the, the nigerian mpfl and the uh, super egos as well even though transit tv we have accreditation now we have an mpfl so cover our super egos game so last week we were out there in uyo to yeah. you know see super egos play let's let's go quickly Today we will have uh, some big games to talk about. First of all, City losing 4-0 yesterday at home to uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Hotspur. That wasn't a very big surprise if you not because not on the scoreline, but you know, Sports has been a team that always has a way to get one over uh, City. City. So if you want to bank on uh, City to lose any game, you're always going to go do that when they're playing against Sports. But uh, the only surprising thing was the scoreline 4-0. City not scoring any goals. And yeah. I think that did not surprise me was the fact that uh, City considered goals because I have been saying it's been a long time coming. For very long since last season, City has found it difficult to keep clean sheets. Last season, they only had, uh, I think, 13 clean sheets, which was way, way a far cry from what you normally get from them if they had up to that uh, in the all season. So, Nimi, yeah. I don't know. Oh, what, what is wrong with City? I think um, you know you, again, you know, with City right now, with, with what I can see from my just looking in, I think it could be born out too. The injuries are a telling figure. It shows the importance of a player like um, it, it shows the importance of a player like Rodri and what it brings to the team. Um, you see, since he got injured, City's performances haven't been. Um, up, up to the standard that we've expected, City. And also, as a team, too, you got to understand something. You've played this game, Reggie. When you've won everything, you've won the EPL four straight years, you've won Champions League, you've won Carling Cup, you've won, you've won practically everything. It gets to the point, what motivates you? What motivates you, Reggie? For example, with this your TV show, you go in and you win the best TV show, Transit TV wins all the award four years in a row. It gets to the point you start asking, what are those things that motivate Reggie? Are you going to lose touch? And when I look at City players, I just, their lackadaisical um, attitude to games. And I was thinking uh, with 
um, Pep signing a new contract with 2027, that was going to galvanize them against um, Tottenham. But uh, Bisuma, Sa, Madison, ran ragged over, ran ragged over City. It's a big rot right now. Um, I wouldn't say the title is then they are about I think eight points yeah. away right now, mm. and um, it's not it's not over yet. Uh, we know City for them, the EPL starts in January. And January, February period. So is that going to be too much with the way Liverpool is playing? we got to figure out. But City is not looking good. Uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Before before I react to that, God, you know, I know you are seeing your excuses for them. But uh, so Pep have left. Do you think uh, they say living innovation is high? Is he going to stay one time too much, you know, sign another two years? Or you think he can remedy this situation? Yeah, well, the, we, we are not talking about even the two years. He has already signed the contract in 2027. It's already sealed and done. I and think that's what I'm can... saying. Two years. Should it, you know, there was that, do you think he should have just as, you know, left in the no, this no, season? No, and... no, no, no. No, I don't think. I think they will. City will bounce. City, City will bounce back. You know, right now the players are having rot. Uh, Vadiol had a stinker yesterday, and um, you know the the the, the injuries that they're having. Walker has lost um, a little bit of pace. Kubasik wasn't around um, um, on the game yesterday. So I, I just feel at this point right now, City is going through a very bad patch that we're not, it's not known to teams like City. So we just have to, you know, be patient, see what happens. And, um, you know, with the subsequent games, we got to figure out what's going on. They just need to score, win, one game, and I believe they will be they will be back. Um, back, yeah, back my, my own perspective, and this is not anything I'm looking at football. I've been some of the things I've been saying for a little bit. I believe that City's problem, first of all, is not just Rodri, it's not just injury. And I'm not going to use injury as an excuse because in the past, clubs like Chelsea, clubs like Manchester United, and Arsenal, nobody has given them a chance because of injuries. Everybody says, Go build your squad, everybody says, City has a uh, depth in squad. If you have injury, Pep always has a way to figure it out. If you can figure it out, he brings a younger, a young player, put in that everything keeps working. And so that was how it was going. So now, anybody should bring in the high excuse of injury because Pep should be able to figure out is how many weeks, about over six or seven weeks now, Roger has been out. But now, if Pep is Pep, the way we have been praising him, you know, he should have figured out what to do with that, Roger. So this is not any slight on Pep, but he's the box stops on him. He has taken all the praises all these years. So this is time for him to also show us that yes, he deserves which he did that, that he deserves it, but he needs to come up with something. So this excuse of injury for me, I'm not buying it because last season Eddie Ten Hag had massive injury on his squad and nobody gave it caught him a slack. The same thing with Chelsea. You know, Arsenal this season has had theirs as well. People are also berating at that. So nobody should come and say the uh, city have injury. But for me, the major issue for me for with City, I believe, and I've said it many times, is City lacks quality. They don't have the same quality of player they had Pep was working with before. With all the praise that we give to Pep, we know that he goes for the best in every position. And that's how he has been doing. So if, if you look at uh, the Jeremy Doku, I don't think you can rate him as high as you can rate... I can't remember who was playing that wing for City before. On the Mares. right side, on the right side, Sevijo, is nowhere close to their Mares or Raheem Stalin of, of the when they were at their, at their in the peak of their powers. You come to the midfield. I don't think City has the intelligence of Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, KDB at the peak of their powers. These players that are, are, are coming in now are not doing the business. And I've been saying this thing since last year as well. City has players in their defense who are technically sound. But one on one defending, they're not good at it. The first goal for Tottenham yesterday was the second goal on Godua versus Kulizowski. You could see it. It was very easy for Kulu to get rid of him and, and drop that pass for, for uh, James Madison. So it is, it, I'm not saying it's over for City, but it's bigger than what we think it is. It's not just Rodri, it's not just KDB. That team as a whole, Need some serious revamp, and it's not going to take just one 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 transfer window. Now, in the past, what Pep used to do is go into the uh, academy, probably plug two prospects there, plan them in. But why that was working in the past for me was because those players come into a team that is 
solid, that has players around them that big them up and help them. Like Lewis right, Lewis right now, when he came into that scene, was do, you know doing good and still a solid player. But right now it's difficult for him because he's dealing with Jeremy Doku, he's dealing with Sebinho, he's dealing with uh, Haaland, who doesn't come join build up and end of the day just wait, wait for chances. And Haaland too, it just everything just comes at the same time. The chances that he was scoring before, maybe maybe keepers are now more aware that Haaland doesn't really die on chances. Once he comes, he takes it. So they are, they are more alert. Then finally, in EPL, standards have gone up. The margin between the big teams and the small teams is no longer as big as it, wide as it used to be. I remember in those days, some 15 years ago, if you are a big team, all you need to do is stay in the game for 75 minutes. 15 minutes to the end of the game, these teams will tire out. But now sports science has made it possible for everybody to be, be as fit as each other. In terms of quality, EPL teams have money. They go into Barcelona, they buy players. You see teams on 10th position buy players from Barcelona, buy for PSG and buy for Real Madrid. So it, it, it's no longer that time when you come, impose yourself on teams, at play them, score them goals and go. So it, it is, for me, it's, it's a combination of so many things and it's really a big one for Pep. He hasn't been in this terrain before, losing four five games at the whole, three straight uh, EPL losses. So it's really a huge one. And I don't know, looking at it from outside, what do you think Pep needs to do to figure this one out? Um, as I said, you know, with all the things you said um, about standards, sports science, how we've been playing this game, um, teams go into bad patches. Um, and I think City will figure it out. It takes one win. It takes a big four, 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 two, three, four, zero win, and they will, they will figure it out. The, the players are still there. The players are still extra, extraordinarily talented. You talk about KDB is still there. Gondugan is still there. Um, they have Kovacic. They have Stones. They have uh, Edison, the goalie Walker. These are tested, trusted players. Haaland, Haaland. You know, you talk about figuring out. This is Haaland third season. Are you telling me? Uh, two years in a row, uh, defenders could not figure it out. Now they're just figuring it out. No, it's a quality, it's a quality player. Times like this will come. Every team goes through um, bad patches like this, and um, you know, big teams stick it out. Um, don't panic, and um, you know, keep it moving. I think they they will they will get better. So, what did they need to do to to come out of this patch? I think what they need to do to come out of this, as I've uh, as I've stated before, is sometimes in in. In, in soccer, you just have to hit your head back and, you know, get back. The mentality has to change. The hunger got to be there. When I look at the city players, I see players that are now hungry, and that's where the manager ends his big box. You go back to training, you tell these players what they need to do and, um, you know, how they need to approach these games where they're not like a desical, they're pressing as they usually do, and they're you know, going in there and winning, winning those 50-50 balls. What I see lately is City, City doesn't even win 50-50 balls. They are, you know, easy to press and they, you have teams pressing them real hard and, um, you know, uh, getting getting the best out of them. As you said, one-on-one, -on -one, they've been terrible. They haven't been good. Uh, Guardiola yesterday was shambolic. You know, we saw Stones not being being at his best and um, Walker being outpaced. You know, Walker and Son has had battles in the past, but it hasn't been like this before. So all I think um, they need to do is to sit back. Um, uh, Guardiola would do Guardiola things, and I expect them in the next couple of weeks, one, two weeks, they should be back. Okay. we, we Let's uh, talk about Tottenham a little bit. And another team that's been, you know, that scratches heads anytime talk about them. Today, they blow teams away. The next minute, you know, they are losing to to Invincible Eagles in Houston, Texas. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Yesterday, they were, they were out of this world. The consistency is the problem. But one thing you can give them credit for yesterday, unlike uh, Postacoglu, there was a, a superior game management yesterday. I don't know if it was because it was against City. Before, you see them, the score goes, they go all guns blazing and just open up all the doors for teams to... To walk back in, but last yesterday they scored two goals, locked shop, you know, played a little bit, uh, managed the game a little bit different from how they used to do before. When they had the chances again, they took them, and uh, the story we already know was four zero. So what what did you make of uh, Tottenham yesterday, and what do you give them? Who, you know, who are the players that uh, I know you mentioned Pasuma there, you know. So what, what really impressed you about 
Spurs. I, I think I, I think watching that game against Spurs, uh, you you said it right. The only consistent thing about Spurs is their inconsistency. This is a team that before the international break surrender lost, um, made it switch if switch win their first game. If switch won them, and the next week they went in. If switch last, they lost. And they went into Man City and beat Man City at 80 yard. So this is a team that is that has told you from post, they're just inconsistent. I wouldn't be surprised the next match they lose because that's the game. And you know, what surprised me was that defensive partnership of um of Davis and um the guy from Romania. Yeah, they didn't even have their first choice uh, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, combination, combination center back, of combination. the you know, center back. Center back, yeah. So Having uh, uh, Romero missing um, and, and the Dutch um, and the Belgium um, Van der Veen, you know that was um, that was you know I thought that was going to kill them, but Davis, I'm telling you, bro, and then Davis came in there and uh, really did what he was supposed to do and did well. So I was really proud of them. I was really impressed too with Madison. You know he's been on the bench for a while now. Yeah, he wants to show the coaches and the team that he's capable. He came in and shoot. I've always loved Bisuma. Bisuma has been my boy. When his his head is there and yeah. he's playing, it's always great. So Bisuma was great. But all you know, many people you know are saying, "Oh, Solanke, Solanke, fifty million is not being no. What he does up there, that guy is technically know, gifted. Like he was work credit out of this world. His work credit. He you know the the thing that helped sports. If you watch that game and looked at it, was. You had a workaholic Solanke that was pressing from the forward line right there. And still coming to the midfield yeah. to join Bilo. And, still, and that is that is what I'm that is the that is what he may not be banging in five, six, ten goals, but those things are things that are key. Can he be doing it consistently? And that is what I'm saying. Sports gotta be if they if they could come up the way they came up against City, whatever Postecoglou said, whatever he did, then you know they they will be they will be doing good, but if they come out the way they come out against Eastwich, you know they are just you know they will be a middle 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 tier team. So you know they just gotta be consistent. That's it. And uh, we talked about consistency. Remember before the Eastwich game, they went to Galatasaray, and they they lost the to to Galatasaray so in the UEFA Cup. So you know they just gotta be consistent. That's it. Yeah, I, I, like you said, you mentioned about City. I think he also stops the box stops in the table of uh, Postecoglou. I think he needs to. <laughs> Alan said, "I thought I should be humble." He needs to be humble a little bit and understand that yes, uh, he can't really do it the way he wants to do it. He needs to adapt his approach again, like he did yesterday, by uh, you know not going all these all guns blazing all the time. If you score, if you go one or two goals ahead, you know be a little bit conservative and uh, protect the lead that. Uh, that you have instead of opening all the doors for teams to walk in because teams in EPL once their back is on the wall they don't they don't they don't shrink they they come at you and try to because they know win is win loss is loss if you're leading me 2-0 uh, there's not there's no backing up it's time to come and you know score because I won't say any team gets one goal against you they 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 they, they this thing will swing to them and uh Danger will smell, and sometimes when teams smell danger in EPL, they go all out for it, and so and most of the time they get it, you know. So there, that's that for uh, Tottenham Hotspur right there.